Good morning. This is Jams in Western Jamaica. I've listened to Russell Brand here <clears throat> speak a few times on this Messiah journey, a spiritual journey he's on past year or so. Now, discerning authenticity can be very difficult at this point with Nephilim hybrid and we're dealing with Nephilim, Nephilim hybrid here so the way the Yahweh supercomputer is administrating balance is and with the CIA timeline too you see on, on the high machine there are some high high agendas and timelines Timelines are higher than agendas. This timeline two, which is the CIA operations. Timeline two includes all these, you know, besides warmongers and the cabal, timeline two includes everybody all going into CNN, the Freemason governments, all to the Illuminati and the Baphomet music and media and movie people is all part of timeline too and enough other preachers and different things can be mis you know false prophets so ti that's timeline two timeline one is christ himself timeline one is christ himself and his the, his holy spirit you know in hypostatic union with a man okay that's the return of the avatar and, and that's timeline one Everything else, everything else is timeline too. You see, the CIA is going to win as long as they got you with some doubt. You're in timeline too. As long as you have some little doubt, you're on timeline too. So they win, you know, because you're all gone. You're all gone. You're incapable. You're so brain, brain mashed. On the timeline too, and the matrix is so heavy. And the conspiracy is so great that even the elect will be deceived, you know. So, I listen to Russell Brando, and he's really good in MK Ultra because I always get fooled by them, you know. So, I still have to wonder. I want you to listen here to two minutes of him speaking because he speaks well, he speaks the point. You know, he's really on the, the, the cusp of the bullet points. And the way this, 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 if you look at the whole interview here, okay, um, you'll see that there's some very, very clever, sharp edits that go in there, you know. And the fact that when Russell Brand was coming out, he went on NBC, MSNBC too, and M M MSNBC is the, one of the highest shill outfits there for the Baphomets. So this looks to me to be, you know, an MK Ultra type consciousness to transfer that they did to Russell Brand of <clears throat> the the Christ consciousness. Okay, they do this to music stars and different people or actors that help them do the role. It's um, consciousness, it's a capturing of a soul of a real person and transferring that consciousness to him. And it becomes authentic and you end up living a lie to the person. The person ends up living a lie to their authentic self, which may be corrupt in that case and allows them to perform at a higher level. So let us just um, play this. Uh, it's kept, well, at the moment, it's not even that we live in a zoo. We live in a farm. Our consciousness is farmed. We've been turned into little, little consumer units. But somewhere in our memory, we remember what we're supposed to be. And we're recognizing this system doesn't work for us, as the brilliant Rousseau quote uh, outlined earlier. And I think we're naturally returning to that. That is going to require a form of revolution. For me, a revolution doesn't infer violence. It just, ref it just means neglect the current system. Don't use this system here that is designed to 
to maintain itself to try to create revolution. That is impossible. That's like trying to use a shoe to cook, make a pancake. But when people are on these uh, on a spiritual journey, they're just saying the path grows narrower. Yes. This In is other true. words, uh, as you get deeper into your <laughs> spiritual journey, you find yourself really uh, more with yourself, more alone, if you go with your, with your spiritual goal or spiritual ideals. Is this for you, Russell Brand, obviously someone who can, at the drop of a hat, step on a stage and be incredibly entertaining, a gifted performer. You've, you're now on a path that is very different in many ways. Personally, is do you are you comfortable in with this at the moment, or are you a little bit unnerved by the spiritual genie that you've opened up the bottle a bit? Well, I think Max is that we're going to die. So I've now seen what happens if you make money in Hollywood. I've seen what happens if you take loads of drugs. I've seen what happens if you indulge nocturnal activities. It isn't that interesting? I've tried all of them. All that remains is to pursue truth. And this, there ain't really that much. It's like, regardless of what happens, in between 30 and 50 years, I will be dead. So I'm just going to use that to do the most interesting thing I can to try to participate in the construction of a new ideology. Not a new ideology, just the realization these things are already here. Each religion talks of a divine realm that needs to be manifest on the material realm. Everyone's trying to do it, and people that are addicted to individualism and materialism try to prevent it occurring. So you just now pick a side, pick a side, Armageddon's coming. And so, uh, we talked about the mainstream media uh, maybe not covering what you're doing. Uh, uh. Armageddon's coming, he said. This is gems in. <laughs> 